Hunter x Hunter, episode 42. Defend X and X attack. York, New City. Yes, finally! I miss Leorio. Ah, yes, the famous York New Market. Oh, yeah, okay. The famous York New Market. <laughs> I got it. I know, I know it's not York New, because <laughs> they just leave their game consoles out like that. You can't do that. This whole episode is just going to be me comparing York New to New York. Here's a really cool thing I love about Korea. <laughs> just, why not? Well, I'm already ranting. If you're at a traditional Korean bar, let's say, where you have tables, and you want to go outside to smoke or whatever, just to get some fresh air, the sign for don't clear my table, I'm coming back, is putting your phone on the table and walking out. It's little things like that that really make me appreciate being here for as long as they've allowed me. York, New City, where dreams are made of. <laughs> that one doll just looks tired. York, New really has a brand. They better. They better. Hold on, let me just call them on my calculator. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of cool. Oh, yes! Leorio knows his tech. Yo, it feels good. Wow. Someone's scalping. That's reasonable. Leorio doing his part. <laughs> Haggling is an art. Speaking of traveling, one thing that has gotten to me traveling, especially in Southeast Asia, particularly Thailand, I don't know why. Haggling is probably just a normal part of the experience for tourists and that much is fine. But like walking into a establishment or getting a ride, the haggling starts at this absurd price point where you're like, why? Why would you start? there. And I know there's this psychological principle called anchoring where, you know, you start high, you're more likely to get a, a middle. Another darker element to that is that like, if so many people are quoting that insane price, it means that now and then that works. And so there's a reason why they start there. There are probably people out there paying like 200 bucks for a five minute tuk tuk ride. I mean, I sympathize like there's a market here in Korea. I don't know if it's still around actually, but it's a clothing market where prices are haggled. And man, did I get fleeced my first time. Super fleeced. So much so that I heard them laughing at me. <laughs> When I was leaving, it was awful. It was such a deep, scarring moment that I went back until I felt satisfied I'd figured it out. <laughs> like I sent it the battle tower? Yeah, yeah, you even know. We punched Ahsoka in the face. I'm curious about Leorio. How's your nan? Interesting. But has he though? I'm with... Clue on this. <laughs> oh no! Lyria was me like 10 episodes ago, 20 episodes ago. And I know there's more coming too. Just having Lyria in the room is like a piece of my heart becoming whole. <laughs> Only like 1 billion. <laughs> oh wow, that was really- oh wow, Kalua's strategy actually did not pay off. This sounds like a group task for the three of us. Leorio was right all along. This intensity though. Ooger! One of the best ones yet. Oh no, in front of your waifus? That's embarrassing. Yep, all in on Maluki. Getting soda all over the place. Maluki's coming too? Damn, everyone's coming. What? <laughs> I thought I was gonna say it's last time I killed someone. Somehow this is more alarming. And his motivation for that is <laughs> spiting Kalua. Great. 
Wonderful. Starting a new financial hobby, be like. How do they screen for Nan weapons, though? Honor Among Thieves. You don't need to tell Kurapika, he doesn't even talk to the people in the group. Man, it's so exciting. So many things happening. Oh, are they doing the- Okay, I thought they were doing the Avatar Turtle game thing. I didn't know Leorio was such a hustler. Whoa, true hustling. Going, I feel like we just smash them through the table immediately. What restraint? Oh, he's listening. Good job, Gon. Oh no, he's actually losing. He's either losing or he's great at acting. If they only knew. Yeah, that's all. Gonna have to speed this up. Maybe you can raise the entry fee as you go. No, you don't. Don't lie. Uh oh. Lirio multitasking, earning money and trying to get numbers. <laughs> Come on, Gon. Uh oh. Blue nose. Wow. Good job. Maybe she just stole the diamond or something. Seems too good to be true. She just got something she wanted. Or not. Oh, that's what it is. I feel like she may sneak out there. I think I know Hisoka's target. Targets? Time to just sit back and bask in my arousal, as one does. Wow, she is spoiled. Just my type. <laughs> Anything for Neon. What are the chances she doesn't go? And a lot more. I think she saw, right? Didn't Kuripika's eyes glow at some point? Kuripika doesn't have the best poker face or poker eyes. Yeah, who can blame him, honestly? Melody is not the angle I thought the friendship would come from, but that's cool so far. I'm trying to figure out how the music thing translates into combat. Is that a metaphor? Right. Oh, the floods, floodgates have opened. I mean, at this point, what does she obtain one of the pieces? Yeah, there it is. So they have to be combined. Why would you play it? What's the plan there? Oh, to destroy it, that's noble. I was gonna say I don't think Melody has the heart for this world, but watch her be absolutely deadly. So much tension building. 
And end of episode. <laughs> Damn it. Nostrado family no bodyguard to stay at our day, you crack the car. It's great how a relatively peaceful episode can be this riveting. This has been set up so well, which is a huge credit because it's also done really quickly. Just a couple episodes ago, we were on Whale Island and now we have all the pieces assembled for the York New Auction. I've often thought that some of the best showdowns happen when there are three sides you care about equally or are invested in coming together. This is so much more. It's Gon Kalua and Leorio as one, Kurpika separately with Melody and the other gang members, the Phantom Troop, which contains Hisoka as a separate thing, Neon, my waifu, and Maluki? <laughs> like, sure. Luki can come too. Nice. There's so many elements, it's almost impossible to predict what will happen, except for death. There will be a lot of death. And I don't think the auction's gonna happen smoothly, which, I mean, how could it? Like ever, in the Hunter x Hunter world. One thing I'm looking forward to is really finding out who's who. We know a lot about power levels and stuff. We know where the characters are individually. Throwing them into this pot like this is gonna be insane. I'm also really looking forward to the Kurapika, Gon, Kilua, Leorio reunion, which I feel will probably happen in a very, very key moment.